And then the last one, I need you there, saying the king, it's a coloring book, story book. It's for the kids. It's to let them know about heaven. Most of them already know. Most kids already know. They try and tell us. <laughs> we, we the one that putting limits on it. <laughs> We're cutting them off sometimes when they tell us. You know, somebody came up to me the other day and they said to me, they said, my granddaughter always says she's seeing angels and seeing this and seeing that. I kind of, I said, don't you dare put her down because she is seeing them. Oh, I'm getting ready to go out on a limb. You ready for the limb one? But remember, what I say don't get you into heaven, Jesus does. Oh, boy, Lord. He says you're ready for it. He says you're ready for what I'm getting ready to say. Okay? You ready for this? When we leave the planet, we're not taking off the playing field. We can come back as what we call angels. Scripturally, we have Elijah and Moses that came back to talk to Jesus. So we know it can happen. Most of our guardian angels are really family members that were sent back to protect us. I know some of you, that's going over your head. That's going all over the place. The good thing about it, don't get you into heaven, nor does it keep you out. But I guarantee you, when you start reading the Bible, you're going to see things now. You're going to see some things. Because some of you saw some family members, and you wonder why they there. they to protect you. We're not taking off the playing field. Somebody better grab what I just said there. Well, Father, you said they were ready for it. The, the, they ready? Pastor says you ready. Then you ready. That means you can run with this. He's going to show you even more. So that little girl, the mom said, well, she says she sees my mom. I said, she sees your mom. I said to her, I said, probably your mom is her guardian angel. She said, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. She was so happy. Some of you have been seeing things. Then you've been seeing some family members. Okay, Father. Pastor, I'm, you know how the Lord is. Some of you, the reason you only see it when you're asleep is because your brain ain't working no more. And now your spirit can take over and do what it's supposed to do. It doesn't have to be that way. It does not have to be that way. Do you hear what he just said? You know? You've got to understand your body cannot live without your spirit. But your spirit can live without your body. My body said something to me when I came back into it. It said, you will never do that to me again. What happened to it? It died. My spirit didn't die. The real me didn't die. But my body died. Sometimes when my body acts up, you know what I said? I'm leaving. You in trouble. <laughs> Did you hear what I just said? That's how much power your spirit has over this flesh. I'm leaving. You in trouble. Somebody better grab what I just said there. <laughs>